hi guys and welcome to google sync plugin version 3.0 in this video we'll see how we can use google sync plugin version 3.0 to create and manage your woocommerce products and categories so easily with the, this new feature so before i go to in details of uh, the plugins features and, and the connectivity let me show how it, it it works so let me show you how you can add uh, products so quickly and easily and beautifully with your google sheet uh, into your woocommerce store so uh, let me type the name simple the type and ignore the parent id it is related to the variation and variable products and some details and let's set the regular and sale prices and the images and the categories we will set it later and these are the pro features and we will enable the pro features so you have to make sure that the id column and the sync column should be in the ends and and between these two columns you can add more columns and you can remove columns in the new version so that's all so let's see if i click on the sync data plugin so you will see a notice or the not the notice the info the total records updated okay cool and let me refresh and here you see the product is created awesome so we have created another sheet which is settings and please do not do not change anything uh, unless uh, i explain in later in this video for these two values other than these are the informations and the settings related to uh, the documentations of uh, the Google Sync plugin. So uh, before I go further in the more features of the plugin, let me show you how you can connect your Google Sheet. And please uh, watch this part of the video. Uh, carefully because many of the clients contact uh, at the initial phase and because they uh, overlook or uh, uh, don't understand and how to connect uh, the google sheet so i will explain uh, it again in this video so make sure you are logged in in your G gmail account and uh, you can copy the google console or project manager link and uh, here i will create a new project from scratch and uh, let me name it google sync nkb store right and you can you may not see this option or you may see this option you can just select the default values and uh, here you see the your project is being created so let's wait uh, for a while okay select your project you just created and the second phase is you need to add the api uh into this project so you can go to your project settings or project dashboard right make sure your project is selected and uh, and inside the okay uh, note the settings you should go to the uh, let me so api and services dashboards yes okay and uh, you are under the apis and services and and the project is selected so inside the libraries and just search here 
uh, sheet API and uh, you will see Google Sheet API library and you just enable you just need to enable it because we will of course using the API uh, to move your data from Google Sheet to your store so uh, I just uh, enabled and uh, okay sorry uh, it is enabled so go back to your dashboard okay so next step is you have to create the credentials and for this you need to go to auth consent screen and here you should select the external user type or you can even use the internal but okay you can type the name of your app and uh, you may or you may not uh, submit your app uh, to the Google uh, but uh, uh, it, it's upon you if you don't want to submit your app uh, you can keep connected without being submitted so let's set the app name Google sync site and KB and uh, you just select the email you can leave the logo and uh, you can just copy the same URL for all these fields okay and uh, you have to tell the domain name and developer information you can type your own email okay save and continue and uh, just leave it default and go to next phase and this is the important phase if you don't want to submit your app and uh, you can you must add the user the same user gmail account uh, so you can connect your google store uh, your google sheet with your woocommerce store so make sure you click and and you should see you can add multiple users with the gmail account or the accounts hosted on on the gmail and then you see the final screen and and back to dashboard so this is second phase you have completed first we add the uh, uh, first first of all we created the project then we add the google sheet library and then uh, we create uh, our project uh, application so now we need to get grab the credentials uh, this is the final step and i hope uh, uh, you won't uh, be boring i'm just creating it finally so you see i select uh, the credentials and create auth client id and you just need to select web application and you say nkb uh, web client you can type any name this is important part of uh, uh, this area and you just move to the settings and uh, you can see the google sync settings and uh, here because it is already connected but uh, okay uh, first of all you need to copy the the name of the domain right and then you must select the redirect URL this one just copy all URL and paste here and uh, uh, sorry uh, this this is the URI and make sure you don't have the forward slash at the end of uh, the URL and similarly uh, in in the authorized redirect URL I just copy from this from this area and okay let's create so 
you see your client is ready you just need to download the json file uh, somewhere secure uh, into your computer and you just open that json file in any notepad editor and copy this all text or string now paste the google credential here and you need to copy the google sheet id and you have to grab your copy from the demo sheet and make sure you use the demo sheet version 3 template and it will be removed in the future version this is the old version and this is the new version so you can click here and make a new copy and you can set like uh, google sync version 3 template or whatever you want name it and uh, close this so first of all you have to copy this id from this part into your plugin then you need to set the auth code and the web app url so here you see you have to set the url first so let me let me copy the website URL without the forward slash and then you can type any auth code of your choice like uh, 525252 and uh, it must be secure and uh, paste the same code into this box and then hit save and finally finally you need to add the web app url and after this all uh, credential settings will be final so to get the web app url you have to go inside tools script editor and then click on the deploy new deployment and leave it default and you may see this message uh, so you have to authorize access to access the web app script under the same Google account and uh, allow it and uh, you will see this the copy your web app URL and close it and also close this part please don't make any change in the code so then you go back to your plugin and paste and hit save okay now everything is from the credentials and you have to authorize your application or plugin with the google and you will see that uh, now your application is being authorized okay cool you will see this message it means that uh, your store is connected successfully with your connected sheet like this so this is the same same sheet we have connected with our google woocommerce store so let's get it started so here you see uh, i have few fields added but you can you can add more fields if you click on this link and uh, this is the woocommerce official api and uh, you just need to grab the products ids or keys uh, into your sheets header column and again please note this that the first column must must be id and the last column must be the same column and between these two columns you can add any column from these keys right so let me let me show you uh, here is okay uh, sku column is missing so i insert a new column sku so here you can add more columns so okay so first of all we have to connect our sheet so click here 
good job she is connected cool either you can create uh, products uh, from your google sheet to import into your products uh, of your store or you can uh, fetch your existing products uh, from your google sheet from your store so first of all uh, let me create a product like uh, my apple's product and name it type and leave the parent uh, blank and you can set the sku only and click on the sync data button of the menu so you see that uh, we got uh, the sync ok and the id is attached with the product it means the product is added into your store successfully and uh, here you can see your product with the SKU and everything is in place and here I have uh, image and if you want to add image you can insert new column and you can see the key of the image is I think images not the image so here you see images so you can add images and you can type the URL separated by the comma for the multiple images so first so here I just adding one image and make sure you remove the sync column value so sync again and and you you notice that once it is updated the the value will be turned into the image id so here you can see the apple image is being set for your product this is cool so this is how you can connect your your or you create the products from sheet to your store we recently uh, create a sheet from magento uh, store from for one of our client and then we easily uh, insert all the products from um, this sheet into woocommerce store in a single click so it is very very amazing plugin so let me let me pull all the categories like uh, fetch categories okay and uh, you will see the magic okay here all the categories is are uh, added into uh, your sheet from your from your store so here you can see the total categories are 81 categories and uh, uh, we have 82 means minus the header so 81 categories are and similarly if you want to add new categories you can just add new category from sheet and and, and, and click on sync button okay and uh, I, I want to show you one thing more like if when your sheet is connected so you will see that uh, this sync column is filled with the rows ids from this and uh, for some reason if you don't want to connect uh, your data or link uh, it with your google store so you once you you link it you can easily reset it so it will be unlinked from your store so let me show uh, i want to reimport or i want to reset my my data you just need to clear all data and click on the reset button so once you click on the reset button the current sheet like the categories will not longer will be linked let me show you okay you see this column is gone means your categories and the sheet is no more linked so you have to do anything from scratch and same thing you can repeat for for the products so now we will see how to create the attributes and uh, make your products 
valuable products, which is a very, very important part of uh, any WooCommerce store. So let me create this this product uh, into a variable product, or or let's make a new product. Let's say my new pet. Okay, and uh, uh, let me set the type should be variable and uh, leave it blank and you can set the description everything and uh, for the variable images are inside the variation of, of uh, this so let me sync it first and uh, okay but I have to define the attributes so we have added some default values like for the attributes uh, I have uh, added the the default values uh, for attributes variations and di dimensions uh, so let me let me add another column like uh, attributes okay and uh, here I paste the attribute so let me add our name my attributes so let me remove the id this is the json value and uh, json data name is uh, pet color right and uh, you can ignore you can set these values unless you really know how to handle this and uh, visibility is false and let me set uh, this to true and uh, variation because we are making this uh, variable so set it true and uh, set options like uh, pet color are uh, black and uh, white and what else what else and uh, uh, gray so okay so let me sync and I am just showing the uh, in phases so you know the better understanding how it works so if I go to my product and uh, my new product and because there are not any variations inside uh, this product and now we are going to add variations uh, inside this variable product so it is very easy and uh, let's set uh, uh, I, I must say that uh, the title of uh, my variation product like uh, hat black right and it its type should be variation and parent id is the id of the main product which is 7405 and you can add description and short description and sku like uh, uh, catchy black so inside the attributes uh, you have to copy again the default value and uh, here you see the object with the name and the, the option or name of the no, name and the value so the name of our variation or the attribute is pet color so you need to add here pet color and make sure it is in uh, small case and uh, and without uh, spaces and uh, i will add the color uh, uh, it's uh, yes okay and black and i i'm only adding one option here okay and uh, 
click on the sync data okay cool you see we've got the id and uh, let's see uh, there are no variation but let me refresh okay it is added you see the same id 7406 7406 with the with the value and the data is the sq is also set and 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 i, I must add some price like regular price 50 yen and the sale price 40 dollar and if you want to add the image then you have to add a new column and its name is should be image because in the variation there is only single image okay and uh, let me add uh, the cat image and uh, okay and I remove the okay value from the sync column and click on the sync data and uh, cool okay there is some issue with the URL but uh, I will see this later uh, maybe some settings okay the, the image import value set to image ID it must be URL yeah that's the problem so okay so let me uh, sync again okay cool and uh, if I refresh I must see the the values of the price and the image should be set for this the variation yep here you go so you can set everything everything like the stock the weight the the classes the description uh, from these keys so this is how you can create the simple or variable products and uh, everything uh, from google sheet and uh, i i also want to show an amazing thing like uh, if i add or update my sheet and it will also be updated in the in, in uh, if i update my store sorry uh, it will be also updated here so uh, let me show you one thing uh, here is my apple's product right and it is connected as long as it is connected so if i change the price or anything so here is the price 100 and sale price 85 and update so you will see it will be updated come on yes that's cool that's cool okay so here uh, the price or everything which is being updated like the title the description will be added back to your sheet and if I add new product it will also be added in the sheet so this is very complete and amazing solution to manage your products and uh, and one thing more and like uh, if you want to export metadata because I uh, being asked questions uh, from some client like that they want to add metadata so they can add another column which is name is metadata right this one and uh, the the point to be noted here sometimes there are so many metadata attached against each product due to some plugins that's why I, I don't recommend to add metadata unless you really really need it 
and I also added an option here like uh, metadata export if you want to really export metadata then you can include the keys only those keys which you want to export in the metadata column so you can add uh, the keys and uh, only those keys will be added uh, in, in the metadata column so it is for the advanced users and uh, who are working with the uh, the meta keys and, and processing in, in, in your program or some somewhere so uh, this is all about I think I have covered everything about uh, uh, the Google Sing version 3.0 and uh, then you can you can change the column positions you can remove the column you can add the column which was never present in the older version and uh, you can fetch or you can sync everything right from the Google uh, sync uh, Google sync menu and uh, so in the end uh, I will show uh, how I can import all the products uh, uh, into my Google sheet from Google store so let me remove it and reset it okay it means that everything linked product is not linked now okay so I will fetch products and you will see the magic and uh, that uh, okay cool perfect here you can see the progress and the products are being fetched and just wait for a while 60 percent Eighty percent, cool. Sync operation completed successfully. Awesome. And uh, here you can see uh, my one fifty one products have been imported uh, from Google Store into my sheet. And uh, there are some uh, formatting issues, but you can easily manage. Like uh, if I select all the cells and uh, click on this one and uh, okay oops this one and also set the row height where is the row height uh, resize row yes and set to be default and okay sorry my selection was gone any, anyways, you can set the formats of the cells uh, to make it more uh, readable. So I hope uh, you love the idea to handle your inventory and uh, uh, bulk uh, creation of the products and the categories uh, from you know, the Google Sync sheet. And now the future plans uh, are of to add the customers and the orders data so we are adding uh, the orders sheet and the customer sheet and it is almost ready and when you click on the customer or the order it would work just like uh, uh, the way it is working uh, the products and the categories like you can sync and you can fetch the products and uh, I hope uh, you will love this plugin and it will make your life a lot more easier to connect your WooCommerce stores uh, with the Google Sync. Okay, bye-bye.